So I was on YouTube earlier this morning and I noticed that there wasn't really any information as far as making like a tiered neighborhood or like a multi-level neighborhood and I figured it would probably be nice if I could make like a step-by-step -step video showing you guys how to do it because I really didn't find anything out there for those people who did want to make it um, and someone actually commented that they were trying to make one and they found my video helpful because it kind of showed them how to do it so I figured I would come on and make one that was a little bit more detailed okay so there's a couple type of uh, villages that you can make I think this is the easiest one so I'm gonna start by showing you guys how to make this type of village um, it is also probably the least time-consuming one as you can see this one is only four houses but if you wanted it to be like a six house village you can put one house right here and then another house right here i will say the dimensions i saw somewhere on pinterest i'm going to try to attach the picture put it up on screen and also credit the person who posted it uh they that picture was super helpful to me i can't stress how helpful it was to me i used it a bunch of times when I was making this little village just so I could get my dimensions on straight and I actually am probably going to use it now so I can show you guys how you should want to set up your terraforming so that everything goes perfectly the way it's supposed to go. So for the first tier, which is this one right here, you want to build a block of land that is about 20 long. 20 to 24 depending on how much space you want that is up to you but mine's is 20 long and if we go this way it's about or I guess it's 20 the wide width I don't know uh, but if we go this way it's 16 units long so that's gonna be your tier one if you want to do a first tier each plot basically is a seven by 10 plot for the home, like for their yard and house. So keep that in mind. If you wanna add some space here, that will be seven by 10, about seven by 10. Just keep that in mind. So if you want to know exactly what amount of space you're working with before you put anything down, I recommend doing this. Just mark out the dimensions with any type of paving and you can even put some fencing down to see how much space you get left with. Like this and if you're like, oh well the house can go right here and I don't know, this could be like my little yard area. Do you like it? You don't like it? What would you change? It's a really good thing to do, especially before you spend like 50k bells on the house because you don't want to hate it once you move it. Okay, so for the third or second tier, I guess the last one, <laughs> um, it's 20 across, so like horizontally, it's 20 units, 20 to 22, depending on how much space you want. And vertically it's seven seven this one's seven I think seven is fine yeah so I think seven is perfectly fine I have a lot of space to put stuff down if you want to have more space like once you move your once you put down your fencing again account for that <laughs> so make it like nine or ten um, but yeah, so that's the first step. I wish I had like shot this as I was making this village because then I could have showed you guys what it looked like. I'm going to show you a mistake that I almost did, which was putting in my incline incorrectly. This is what you don't want to do. And I always recommend that you guys imagine what it's going to look like before you commit because inclines, you cannot move. Like you can only destroy them. And if you pay like 
200,000, then that's 200,000 down the drain. So this is what you do not want to do. Um, it's because it's going to lay on top of the dirt and it's not really going to look as good. So what you do want to do is make a little nook into... Oh, wrong shovel. You want to make a little nook in your mountain. It should be... I think it's two by three. Hold on. Let me just confirm. Do So once you have your little space carved out in your mountain or your tier two, you see it fits perfectly. So you just go ahead, it's a two by three nook. Go right in there and you imagine it. And now boom, it fits perfectly into the side of the mountain and then you can put a house on the left and a house on the right and then do your fencing and it'll be perfect. After that, really, it's just a waiting game. You have to move one house every day. You can do the second set of steps on day two. So you could do like one house. This, that's what I did. I did a house and a stair. First day, I did the other house and a stair on the second day. And then I just put these two houses on days three and four. That's if you don't time travel. If you want to get it done a little bit faster, you know, that's up to you. <laughs> I don't judge. But yeah, if you're doing this traditionally, it's going to take four days to do it because it takes a day to move each house. Um, but yeah, and then after that, you just do some paving, you put down your fencing. Uh, these light posts are DIY light posts. You could also do lanterns. You could do the street lamps that you can redeem for Nook Miles, but I'm trying to save my Nook Miles, so I didn't buy those. There's a lot of things you could do. I recommend doing lamps but I'm like a lighting person <laughs> so I always love lights but yeah um I don't know how I feel about my decor yet so I'm not really gonna talk about the decor that's up to you guys um I've seen some people that do like identical decor for each home and I think that's fine but I kind of like to go with like the personality of my villagers so every home looks a little bit different and that's how I like it but I think I covered like the more important stuff the terraforming is really all there's to it once you get the terraforming down everything just falls into place uh, but that's like the first step so you want to make sure you start off correctly I think that's it that's everything if you guys have any questions ask me in the comments I'm more than happy to help and I hope this was helpful to you guys and that you got something from this and I didn't just waste an hour of my time filming this video. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can catch more. I'll see you guys. Bye.